morning. It's Thursday, January 28th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Pondering God's Goodness, and our scriptures, Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. All he does is just and good, and all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. Have you ever experienced buying a new car, or for us common folk, new to you car, also known as used jalopy, and you'd hardly ever notice that model on the road, and now that's all you see? This seems to happen with Bible study, too. I've just started preaching a series from the New Testament book of James on growing to maturity in your life as a disciple. Now, everything I read in Scripture seems to jump off the page about maturing in Christ. That's what pondering will do. It gets you thinking deeply, seeing more clearly, and considering the weight of what you held previously and what it might be like to either change or not. To keep the car metaphor going here, it's more than a cursory test drive. It's leasing the vehicle for a few years to see if you'll keep it. You drive it day in and out, long trips cross-country, daily to work, leisurely cruises on backcountry roads, and navigating the potholes and traffic snarls in the city. You see how your life changes with this model. Discipleship, learning to be Jesus' co-laborer and servant, is like that. You want to serve better this year than last, so you keep digging. Every day, deeper, longer, wider, praying for understanding and courage to apply what he shows you. Pondering God's creation and all his works of mercy and justice are a lifetime project. The psalmist looks around this way and everywhere there's mercy, goodness, provision for our needs. The glory of our Lord and his righteous, trustworthy judgment are so overwhelming, the psalmist breaks into spontaneous praise, a doxology of encouragement to people everywhere to ponder it all and praise him forever. There's such a sense of direction and life to this psalm. It continually points you to always look under the Christmas tree for the next surprise. There is covenant, commandment, and merciful substitution of atonement laying all around as a field of wildflowers just waiting to be adored and to adorn our ways. And the more you gather with others like-minded to search the unfathomable riches of Christ Jesus, you cannot help but lift up holy hands and be transported to the very throne room, a foreshadowing of transformation into the image of Christ. To put it on the lower shelf, he changes you, and it's all good. For you today, maturing in Christ Jesus is not just memorizing scripture verses and keeping a long list of the bad stuff you won't do anymore and the good stuff you'll try to work at. It's pondering and discovering the depth of blessing that is God's will for your life. It's humbling, because we know we don't deserve a bit of it, but what a joy to know it's true. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.